Hi, my name is Cynthia and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing the major differences between a web designer and a web developer. Oftentimes, when you're trying to navigate into the tech industry, the website industry, basically, there's always this confusion between which should I go for? Am I a web designer? What's the role of a web designer? Am I more of a developer? What are the differences? And which one do you think is best for me? Well, I was at that point in some part of my life, but yeah, I've gained clarity on that. So in this video, I'll be sharing more insights and the major differences between web design and web development to help you make more informed decisions about which of them you might actually be interested in. So if this is your first time of coming to my channel, please don't make it your last. Click the subscribe button and like this video and help the algorithm to share this video to more audience thank you so first things first i think i want to start with web design so like the name implies it means designing basically so if, let's just picture it this way picture like the outer look of a website what you see when you visit a website the colors the alignment of colors the arrangement of like lines or the menus the arrangement of sections just basically the outer appearance of it so most times it's often referred to a ui ux something of that nature that people that i give like a sketch they give like the outer look they focus basically on what you see so if you're more of a graphic designer let me use that as an instance if you're more of a graphic designer i want to maybe feel that you i feel like you thrive well when it comes to web design because you're now better with colors you know more about your colors as a graphic designer you know about arrangement of items to make it look more aesthetically pleasing so yeah you would try better in that i don't know if this explanation is enough but like i said it's just basically the outer look of the website picture it as somebody that designs the one that you would see and this designer doesn't necessarily have to be from scratch you don't have to be from scratch you can have templates that will guide you with these designs and you just have a way of manipulating it or navigating it to get your own just to make it look more customized or personalized that is just basically everything about web design the basics that you need to know you can also make more of, uh, research about this and like if you want to go in depth about it but this is just to help you gain clarity on their major differences now back to web development as the name implies it means having to develop having to build something from scratch having to create something from beginning from the initial initial stage so yes that is what is synonyms that i can use to describe or rather those are the synonyms that i can use to describe the world web development having to create a design to create a website to customize a website to create a custom design on your own from scratch so now with web development it comes with programming language like html css javascript react python name them no js there's a whole lot of them also let me add to some web developers don't just necessarily build from scratch most times some companies employ these of ui ux designers that create like a sketch of what you should work with and then you as a developer now brings this sketch or this um theory this person has in mind to life or to reality so yeah that's also another context i just need to add in there also with web development comes with the functionality of the website the responsiveness of the website the interactiveness of the website so let's say for instance you know how you come into your website and there are pop-ups or you fill the form and it takes you to the next stage or you these are like automatic automations javascript automations or you come to a website and you want your text to be rolling around the tech the the website or you want to just shape you just have that flexibility when it comes to web de development now this deals with codes blocks of codes it's not just web design where you just have to oh you have this plugin you add images with web design you have nothing to do with code most of the times so you might just have a very basic knowledge like a very simple basic knowledge but with programming with web development you really have to be like in depth on your code i hope with this my explanations you've been able to understand the concept of the two different terms or the two different terminologies All right now the second thing i'll be discussing to differentiate them is the tools that you need for you to be able to work with them with what with web designing you need all these plugins your elemental other page builders wordpress which is basically like the most used the most versatile or the most used uh, website building or website designing application or software 
and that's just that for web designing you can explore more there are other websites but i'm just giving you like the ones that are most like if you talk about it people would know that's what you're referring to but as a web developer you have to do it you have to be you know your visual code or atom and you need to be with the programming language you need to be very conversant with the programming language it's html css javascript react bootstrap bootstrap in a programming language. also another difference is that with like i said with wordpress it's just basically your main focus is on the outer look of the website what people would see when they're coming to the website you don't really have much going on on the back end there's really no much going on the back end aside to your maybe admin settings where you can put your email just basically the custom of customization of your emails to receive emails if somebody signs into your website or using google An analytics to monitor it but now with web development there is a front end part of it and there's the back end part of it the front end part of it deals basically also with what you see but now in a more technical aspect what you see then the back end are the people that are going to bring like the work behind you don't necessarily see their work but are the people that oh we work with a front end designer to bring back what or to pull data to fetch api so let's take for instance a practical example is let me say a school website you you know how you're in school you can search your upload your results or upload your information and then you can still fetch it back so now the work of these things are being programmed not designed to get the point now because you as somebody it's the ability of the back end code or developers is them that will make it enable you or make it able for you to when you put in your your range numbers or you put in your school numbers it will, or put in your password it will go back and fetch your information your exact information ordinarily if you put in all those things the website the codes might not recognize it the programming or the machines might not recognize it but now with the work of these back-end developers they've made it possible that you will be able to come back and they'll put your data back to the database you'll also be able to add information and your information will be going will be stored back in the database so it deals with fetch give and take give and take so basically the back end they do most of the work that you don't get to see but the fact that your website is very functional that you can put data at any point in time store data and carry out some very critical technical functions on your website these are the functions of the back end developers so now the real question is which one should you go for and i feel like my explanation so far it should have guided you towards which one are you are you more of somebody that can play with colors can do with animations can just do create things that are aesthetically pleasing if that is what you're in for front-end web development or web designing rather is best for you because you don't get to, if you're not much of a very technical person a very complex person somebody that likes complexity you just want things that would be going smooth and easy i feel like i'm not trying to say that web designing is easy don't use that as a yardstick i'm just trying to say that if this is what you're into then i feel like this you will thrive better in this aspect of it on the other side if you're somebody that likes complexity you want to do with codes like real real code real time code you want to write a block of codes and it's to carry out a function then you know that web development is for you either the back end or the front end either ways you get to still deal with codes now another thing also to mention is which one pays more that's a very tricky question because there's two sides to it now um, get me right on a normal day on the actual real world web development pays more yeah it pays more because people believe that it's more complex it takes a lot for you to learn it so they believe in because of the complexity for you to gain that skills it is more financially what's the word more lucrative let me use that word but then right now most people can't afford to pay for a very custom website which is why they now go for web designing because it's cheaper and because it's cheaper the demand for web designers is gradually on a very high increase most people are like oh it's still almost the same thing and most times i'm not using this website mainly for any very big thing i just say for people that are coaches people that just want or maybe which would i would 
want to use people that are consultants they don't really carry out much things on their website they just want to digitally market their self or market their skills or market their services which is why they need this website in the, these cases they go for wordpress web designer because they're like oh they're going to get the work done i just need people to sign in or to just generate lead from this website basically so now the demand for web designers is on the high side because they're just people are more of that like they want this kind of website than to actually pay for a custom website and insert some very custom made features on their website also another question that most people ask is can you do both the answer is yes a capital yes let's use me for an instance i'm actually more of a developer but recently i dabbled into web designing and i can say that i can use websites wordpress to design a website which is a very added advantage if you need to do that most companies want people that can actually design and still develop sometimes and it may gives you like a leverage over others that just have one so but it's okay to actually focus your energy on one it's very much okay like me i know that in the long run i'm going to focus my energy on web development because i feel like that's more of me that's the kind of things i like i'm more of that person i want to be able to create my own things myself so but that doesn't to take away the fact that I have an idea about web designing. Everybody must not have an idea about web designing, but I'm just trying to put out there that yes, I'm a developer and I have an idea. And yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around and watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help other people find this video through the algorithm. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.